Hi guys, me again. Uh, this is just a quick video. Um, I've been doing YouTube videos with my little HD uh, Panasonic camcorder here, uh, which is, it's got very good picture quality. Um, but what seems to happen is the sound, even though it's got a 5.1 channel pickup mic on it, uh, it sounds like I'm, you know, sitting in the bath. So what I thought I would do was purchase one of these. Um, from Maplin, so I got this from Maplin's in the UK. Uh, it's got some good reviews, and it's basically an exterior or external um, lapel mic. Uh, so I'm going to try this stereo stereo as well, or you can use it for me, uh, for mono. But I'm going to try plugging this in and see if this makes any difference, and hopefully get some get some better sound or better audio quality really through the videos. So it is this product. You read that? Do, 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 do. So it's a stereo mic. Uh, it comes with. It's got two little mic ends on there. They did sell these with um, separate mics, so left and right. But this one comes all in one. Um, I got it from Maplin's in the UK. Like I say, I paid thirty-five pounds for it. Um, it's got four and a half stars out of five uh, on their site from seven reviews. So that's not too bad. Uh, I didn't want to pay too much money on this because I've just, just dropped a load of money on uh, some musical equipment. Uh, so this was just a quick buy really. But I thought, you know, what the hell, being as I'm buying it, I haven't opened it yet, I may as well open it up in front of you guys, see what you think as well. Um, so this is the Yoga Mini Tie Clip Electric, what it says, Electret. I don't know what that means. Electric condenser microphone, omnidirectional stereo for recording, and it includes, includes the adapter and the battery. Okay, so I'll show you here a picture of my video camera as it is, which should be on now. Um, and what I'm gonna do is unbox it first, plug it in, we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, so let's get going on this. Uh, so the packaging then, uh, it's not that really hard packaging that rips your fingers to bits. So congratulations to Maplins for that. Uh, it's just, I think, a sandwich box. There you go. It just pops open. So in the kit then, we have a Maxell AA battery. So batteries are included. Uh, we've got the little lapel tie clip, you can see that. We have the, obviously the power box, it supplies the power to the mic. Okay, so that's what it is. Da, 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 da. And on the side there you can see it says off on stereo and mono so if you wanted to do this uh, use this as a mono, monographic uh, monographic as a mono mic uh, you, if you've only got a mono camcorder uh, this is probably ideal for that um, but I want to use this in stereo so I'm going to give it a go in stereo uh, so it's an EM8 yoga okay and on the back there's another little clip there so you can slot it down your, your shirt or whatever you're wearing I uh, presume that's the port to put the, the mic itself in. And I presume that's where the batteries go. So let's see if we can get the batteries going. So that just slides off, no problem at all. Okay, battery goes, a big picture there to tell you which way to put the battery. Pop it in, slide that back on. Clip, that should be done. So there's a fair old length of wire there, uh, which is obviously put together with a tie. Let's get this tie off. So the more wire the better really. Um, so that's not, that's, that's a pretty good length. That's not bad at all. Now on the other end then, so we've got the, um, the two jack options. Uh, obviously the bigger jack there, and I think if you pull that off, 
there you go, you've got the, the stereo jack. Maybe if it'll focus. Okay, uh, my camera takes this smaller connection, so I'm going to pop that into the uh, camera in a moment. So, we've now got to plug in, we'll find the microphone itself, and there it is again. All packed up. Okay, so it's um, a stereo mic, it's got two two microphones on it by the looks of it. You can see there's one on that end, one on that end. I don't think it matters or whether they're, no they're not marked to left, oh yes they are, so I don't know whether you'll be able to see this on there, but on the top it's actually marked to left and right. Okay, so that's pretty idiot proof if you can read it. Uh, Yeah, writing is quite small. <laughs> I might get my little one to read that for me. So again, we've got more wire here, which is good. So even more wire length. Well, it's either a good or a bad thing. It's either going to get in your way or you're really going to need it. So um, I would think that I'll need it for the stuff that I do. So this end, I'm guessing, I haven't picked up the instructions yet, but I'm guessing that that, I don't know what that is actually. What is that? Oh, it's a stand. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in there. I presume that's where it goes. And then the microphone itself, I would say, clips onto there. Let's say that just clips in. Yeah, that clips in nicely there. So you can actually grab the mic onto something. That's pretty good actually, it's not too bad. Feels nice and sturdy. The um, the clip itself is very strong. Uh, feels like metal with uh, hard plastic around it, but very strong, very strong spring, very strong grip. Um, and the clip that actually went onto the mic, that's a secure fit as well. That that went on really well. Uh, nice clunky click. The box itself, hard plastic. Uh, nothing more to say about that really. It feels quite quite sturdy it looks a, it looks pretty much idiot proof so I'm literally just gonna plug this into the camera in a moment and then we'll see the difference in quality uh, also in the box there's a little leaflet uh, just telling you how to dispose of your batteries and no instructions but on the back of the box it just tells you how to fit it Okay, and it's got all the specifications on the back as well. Let me show you them. Is it going to let me? So I'm not sure if you can read that, but that's what's on the back, on the specs. Very interesting, I'm sure. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this off. So if you can sort of memorise this this sort of recording through the normal mic, I'm going to pop this one on, and we'll get a we'll get a comparison between the two, a direct comparison. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, so I've got the microphone on my shirt at the moment. I just sort of had to, to grab it, bunch it up and grab it because I haven't got a tie on and I haven't got any collars so uh, at the moment I've got it on stereo so if I do that it should be stereo now if I pop this to mono like that uh, I'm just trying to, I want to try and review the best the best, best options I have it on um, I have actually just tried it on stereo and to be honest it was a bit confusing, it didn't sound all that good. Uh, it was a bit hissy as well. Uh, it's picked up a lot of background noise. Uh, so this is in mono. That's in stereo. Back to mono again. Bang. Mono, mono, mono. So I'm just going to try that out and see if that's any better. Uh, I'm just going through the, li the little options on the back of the box here. Okay, so uh, let's check out the quality. And I don't know. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay guys, well to be honest, um, I just tried that in all modes, I tried the mono, the stereo, tried moving it up and down, left and right, 
I tried mounting it on my uh, little boom arm here uh, and to be honest the quality was no better I don't think than my video camera um, yes the the voice was a little bit deeper um, but it did sort of fade in and out quickly on I don't know it's as if it was trying to find its own level um, so I had to play with it for you know for a day or so uh, this is a couple of days later um, so what I've done is I've decided to take it back to Maplins because uh, it's it's just not suitable for what I want it for. It may be good for for some of you um, if you've got you know very very poor microphone setups, then it may do okay for you. It may be all right just as a, a lapel mic, you know, if you're doing presentations and so forth. Uh, but I wanted to do a few YouTube videos and I wanted to make it easy and unfortunately it didn't make it easy it just added another problem for me so i decided to take it back uh, maplings are really good though they said no problem at all they asked me for some feedback and i was honest with them um what i've resorted to is actually um using my boom mic i hope you can see it so this is my vocal audio technical mic uh which i use for recording vocals um, I found a little feature on Final Cut Pro which allows you to actually um, record voiceover straight into Final Cut Pro. I didn't know you could do that. So what I've done is just turn my mic on and over the top of these videos that I'm putting, putting into Final Cut Pro, I just stick the, the voiceover on there. And to be honest, uh, I think this sounds really good. I think this is the setup I'm going to go with going forward. Uh, the only trouble is if you're doing product demonstrations or unboxings or I don't know, sawing some wood outside, obviously I can't use my boom mic, so um, I'm just going to have to put up with the uh, Panasonic mic, maybe change it into mono mode, see if that makes a difference. Uh, but so, uh, yeah, I was a bit, a bit fed up about that, but that's the way it goes sometimes. You have to try things, give things a chance. Uh, I gave it a good chance, um, but it just wasn't for me. Okay. Well, never mind. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to me if you want to, and I'll see you soon. All right? To the pips.